What's up guys, I'm Morley from Yelron Blog, and today I'm going to show you how I made a concrete and plywood box for my iron ring. Iron rings are given out to new graduates of engineering programs in Canada. I'm finishing up my undergrad this spring, so I just got mine. Now let's get building. The first step of this project was making a mold for the concrete. I found these little yogurt containers which are the perfect size for a ring box and have nice vertical sides. For the inside of the box, I figured that a plastic bottle cap encloses enough space to hold a ring. I couldn't decide between two sizes of cap, so I made two molds to test each one. I wanted a uniform interior for the box, so I sanded down these little ridges with my rotary tool and cleaned them up with some hand sanding. Now, plastic bottle caps aren't totally flat on their tops, so I flushed up these surfaces with some plumber's putty. I assembled the molds on yogurt container lids and attached everything together with hot glue. The lip around the edge of the little yogurt containers actually creates a perfect surface for gluing them down. I wanted to have a beveled edge on the concrete ring box, so I rolled out some plumber's putty into thin snakes and used this to line the inside edges of the mold. The concrete mix I have on hand is Quickcrete 5000. This is a great high early strength mix, but its aggregate is much too big for a little ring box. So I just sifted out the bigger aggregate with a colander. So here you see me dropping some staples to the bottom of the mold, which will be the top of the ring box. These will allow me to add magnetic closure to the ring box. Since steel is denser than concrete, there was no risk of these rising to the top of the mold during casting. Once the molds were ready, me and my trusty assistant mixed up the concrete and filled the molds. We made sure to keep a low water to cement ratio and tap and shake the molds to reduce air bubbles. I covered the molds with plastic wrap to moist cure for a full day before demolding. In the end, I was lucky to have made two molds because, as you'll see by the exposed staples, one of the castings failed. It looks like the staples made a little cave in the mold that the concrete was unable to enter. I think if I were to redo this project, I would cast a very thin layer of concrete on the bottom of the molds before adding the staples. I sanded some of the rougher edges of the successful casting while the concrete was still wet and a bit soft. I then traced the ring box onto a scrap piece of Baltic birch plywood to make the lid. I used my jigsaw to cut out the lid. I find that cutting out small curved pieces with a jigsaw is actually perfectly doable as long as you go really slow outside the line, think about the order of cuts so you don't paint yourself into a corner, have the right blade, and are willing to do a bit of sanding. And there was definitely a bit of sanding to get this piece the same shape as the box. The next step was cutting out an insert for the lid out of some thinner plywood. I cut this little circle out roughly and then gradually sanded it down, testing out its fit in the box as I went. Like a lot of woodworking, 
This process definitely requires patience, but as long as you keep turning the circle while sanding, it stays a pretty nice circle and you can really get a perfect fit. To attach the insert to the lid, I stacked coins in the box to bring the insert flush with the top. Then, I added a few drops of CA glue and brought the lid down on top, making sure it was aligned with the sides of the box. Once the glue had set, I dropped some magnets on the box to find the areas of strongest attraction from the staples. I then marked these locations onto the bottom of the lid to drill holes and inset the magnets. I held the magnets in these holes with some hot glue. I filled over the magnets with wood filler and then sanded the surface flush. Before sealing the box, there was still some little bits of plumber's putty stuck on the concrete, so I just scraped this off with a needle. I sealed the box with Thompson's water seal, which I am desperately trying to get rid of. Maybe a good excuse for an outdoor furniture project. While this was drying, I finished the top with some spray-on satin polyurethane. The final step of this project was adding a pad to the bottom of the box using a piece of scrap leather. This makes the box sit nice and flat on a table without scratching its surface. And just in time for the end of this song, the box was done. I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially since it was a pretty quick project. I study civil engineering, so it's cool to have this little showcase of civil engineering materials to hold an object that itself is symbolic of engineering. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, consider subscribing. I have a bunch of other videos detailing how I make all sorts of things.